Hey there, it's Joe Robinson, the PE Geek here, and in this video, I'm gonna be taking you on a tour of the new QR Laps mobile application and show you how you can go about using it to track the, the laps that students do and therefore the distance that um, they accrue during the activity that you do with them. So the app is similar to another app that I've shared about QR Stopwatch. However, in this particular instance, it works the same, but every time you scan the code, the QR code, it adds um, the number of laps to the student whose code you're scanning. So before we dive into looking at the app, what you'll um, be able to do is you can head to the app support page and the URL will be in the blog post here. But when you are there, you can create your own student ID cards. Now on this site here, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but all you need to do is type in the names of your students on a separate line. Um, <laughs> coming up with a few people, random people. And once you've done that, you like copy and paste a, a student list in, for example, you can hit generate and it will produce your individual QR codes for your students. You can see it's downloaded the codes now and you can open that up. And, and what you're looking at right now is literally a personal ID card for each of the students that you're going to be able to track. Now, for the purpose of the activity that the lap the running or whatever it is that you're needing to count laps for, you would give each student one of these cards and you could laminate it, for example, just so that it doesn't get broken. And whenever they are participating, they would use this card and then they could complete the activity and every time they come past the uh, station where the mobile device is, the iPhone, the iPad, they could scan them and it would accrue their laps. So I'm gonna give you a bit of an idea now of how that all works inside of the app itself. And I've brought that up on the screen here and the app is QR Laps and when you open it up, you can see here that uh, it you know, takes you to a screen where you can create your QR codes and that just links you to this site where I was previously. Um, but we're just gonna dive straight into counting laps. And I'm gonna hit as follows. Now, what you need to do to start the lap, the lap tracking features is simply, you can see my camera is active now, but if I uh, bring that up and scan the first card, you can see here that uh, the first student is obviously underway. They've now completed one lap. If I scan my name, we're underway too. Uh, if I scan my brother's name and then a random name at the top, we've got four people who have completed one lap and then you know Billy Boris as well at the end. Now, when we go back through the list at this point, for the second time, we're gonna be able to actually see the specific person's lap total uh, increase. And obviously you would continue that process until you, you get to the end. And then once all people uh, are finished, you, well, you can actually, if, if for whatever reason you can't scan, you can swipe the person's name and you can manually add uh, a lap to their score. But when you finish all runners, then obviously you can hit, hit the finish button and you get presented with a, an overall total of the number of laps that were performed. And you can see here that down the bottom, you can put in, well, let's not say uh, 400 feet. Let's say that one lap was one kilometer. And then we can say confirm. And, you know, just like that, it's gone and, and calculated the total number of distance accumulated across your students and also the uh, total for individuals. Now at this stage, if you hit the email button, assuming you've got email set up on your device, you'll be able to send a report to 
yourself that included the list of students and you know what it was that they achieved uh, during that session and then whenever you're ready you can just head back to count some more laps or press home and delete the old data and start all again but the cool thing is that once you've created these codes and they're tied to a person's name every time they use that uh, code you will be able to trigger a new uh, pro a new counting of laps so it is a pretty simple process to set up set up the codes and then you can get started if you have any questions let us know